Spartans! Okay. Here with Alex Hippolito. Alex, can you talk a little bit about the, the season so far? Okay, sure. Uh, this season has been uh, really good for the whole team. We have all been working so, so hard. Um, for the women especially, it's been great. We won our Nova meet in December and we also won conference that was just a couple weeks ago and we've got five girls now going to uh, Geneva, Ohio for NCAA so we're really excited about that. Um, what else to say? We uh, have broken a few of our records. I'm Katie Parker, she did great. She broke her two fly record. Uh, tons of people went best times. So yeah, you very good. Talk a little bit about the championships and what your, your goals are. Sure. Um, for NCAAs, we're all definitely going in there trying to get as many All-Americans as we can, um, which is top eight. So uh, for my events, I'm really excited just uh, to drop more time and some really fast. And I think Heather is uh, seated really well up there and Katie. So and Erin, we definitely got a lot of good swims ahead of us. Being a senior, you've had an excellent career already. Can you talk a little bit about what uh, last four years has meant to you? Here? Sure. Um, the last four years have been so great. Um, coming in as a freshman, just, you know, not really uh, the fastest swimmer on the team, obviously, and uh, just dropping so much time. And I'm so blessed for just the great coaching staff that we have. Um, as a senior now, being a captain was just amazing and a great uh, experience for me to lead my team to, you know, two wins and to lead my uh, nationals team just for the last meet of my, my swimming career. It's an exciting thing. So, What's yes. been your best memory so far? Um, my best memory, I guess there's been a lot. Uh, just freshman year winning conference was awesome. Just coming in as a freshman uh, making nationals for the first time, just dropping so much time, that I'll always have that memory, just surprising myself so much. Um, I would say junior year when we won uh, NCAAs in the eight free relay, that was a, such a memorable moment and um, something I can't, not many people can say they've done. I'm privileged to say that I've accomplished. And then this year winning conference was, was a great, great time. Great experience. <laughs> okay. Here with Carl Burtis from the UT Swimming Team. Carl, can you talk about the season so far and uh, your uh, impressions? Well, we, we've had a really good season as a team, especially. Um, this is I, I came to the Spartans last year as a transfer in my junior year, and definitely it's a massive improvement on the se uh, on what we had last season. We have a lot of new talent that came in last year, freshmen and some sophomore transfers that have really helped us dominate our dual meets. We swam very, 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 very well at conference and we're hoping to carry the momentum into nationals. What are your goal in the nationals? My personal goal is to outplace what I swam last year and last year I had uh, two finals, one with a fourth place and this year I'm looking to do better in both my 100 and 200 backstroke and I'd like to get some relays in that top spot as well. This year we have some really, really strong relays and uh, look at it the best we can and, and get as many A finals as possible. As a team, what's the, the goal for where you guys would like to finish as a team and uh, the awards and honors you can get? I feel like last year we had a bit of a disappointing uh, nationals as a team. Probably because we got a couple of relays to qualify that nationals. We lost a lot of points and we finished, I think it was 13th. So this year, I, I think we have the capability of finishing top five, top six at nationals. And I'd love to finish top five with this team. And I really feel like that even after I'm gone, I'm a senior this year and graduating in May, even after I'm gone, the people that are in here as freshmen and sophomores can continue the momentum for the next few years. Do you feel that this team's peaking at the right time, headed into the Nationals? It's very difficult to tell with swimming because it's such a unique sport. Although it's a massive team sport when it comes to scoring, each swimmer is very unique. So it all depends on how each swimmer is feeling, but from how we've been practicing since we came back from conference and even the build-up to conference, everyone had mixed emotions and everyone swam very well at conference. We, we didn't have any bad performances throughout the whole meet. And even now, people are a little bit stiff, but the meet doesn't start until next Wednesday, so we still have five days to work out the kinks. Uh, can you talk about your most memorable experience here at UT? Here at UT, it's actually not a personal one. It's more for the team. I, it actually came, it came from this conference, uh, the conversation we had a couple of weeks ago. One of the guys that, tra that trains here, he's 
trains really, really hard. He's, I, I only met him last year as I came in as a transfer, but I know for a fact that he came from nothing and now he's he's with me at nationals too and he's just he's swimming out of his mind it's really impressed me it's great to see people like that and um, his name is jeremy parker he's a sophomore and it's just it's fantastic to see people that ha are that committed getting the results that they are i've been around a very very long time in swimming and it's awesome to see people put in so much hard work at a young age jeremy's new to, relatively new to the sport i've swam for 17 years i don't even think jeremy has swam for six and he's right up there at Nationals, he's on all the relays with me and I hope he's learned just as much from me as I've learned from him, attitude-wise. With, with a younger team, you being a senior, what type of leadership roles have you uh, tried to take upon yourself and also what kind of impression do you hope to leave on the program? I try not to tell people what to do as much. I let, I let a lot of people come to me and ask advice because um, I do have a very, uh, I do have a lot of experience as an international swimmer, a lot that many people on this team wouldn't have. And we have a lot of international people that swim here, freshmen, sophomores that are from Norway, Sweden. And I try to sit back and let people come to me with their worries and just kind of settle a few heads. And like at the end of the day, it's only swimming, it doesn't matter. And a lot of people can forget that when they get into a meet. But as a leader, I've kind of tried to direct the team that they can all take responsibility for their own actions. But if there's something that they can't solve, they're more than welcome to come to me with problems and I'll do my best to help them and use my experience to guide them in a path that's best for them. And also something unique with this team, you being an international student, there are people from all over, not the United States, but all over the world. How does the, the team mesh? Team mesh is perfect. I mean, you do have a little bit of grouping going on with the with the language barriers, but everyone everyone's here to swim at the end of the day. For uh, looking away from the academic side of it, when you get to the pool, everyone's here to swim. Everyone likes training together. Everyone has fun together. Um, there's never any hassle on the team. There's never barriers between Americans and non-Americans or anything like that and everyone has a really good time. I myself really enjoy my time here.